Joining me now is Catherine Hill, a French epidemiologist. Uh, thank you so much for your time. The French government, having now vaccinated some 11 million people with their first jabs after a very slow start to their inoculation rollout, what more should the government be doing at this point? Well, they have to continue vaccinating, but in the meantime, uh, arrival admissions in intensive care units are increasing regularly and the system is pretty much submerged. So they should really start testing much more systematically and they're not doing that, which is a problem. What would be the best system of test and tracing in your opinion? Um, people should be tested uh, on the basis of salivary samples who are very easy to obtain, do not require a professional, and are extremely acceptable, rather than the nasovaryngeal swabs, uh, which is disagreeable at, at its best, and people don't like it. A lot of people don't want it. And I, based on these samples, use PCR tests on pooled samples would really um, make the mass testing much easier. How long will it take before we see those COVID-19 figures dropping? I have absolutely no idea, but it's going to take a long time because the, the lockdown is not very strict. Um, people, it was a school vacation, people moved all over the country. So the virus is circulating everywhere and uh, pretty much um, Testing is remaining, is pretty haphazard, you know. The, we, essentially, one waits for people to have symptoms, and even the symptomatics are test, tested on average a little bit less than two days after the symptoms, and they get the result another extra day afterwards. So they've been infected for five plus two plus one, eight days when they are told they are contagious. And most people are not contagious more than 10 to 12 days. So it's it's too late. Is there any country that's ha got it right? Yeah, plenty. Australia, New Zealand, Taiwan, South Korea, China. Yeah, sure. These countries got it right. We but, got it wrong. But when you look at, say, a country like Israel, where there's been a high vaccination rate, where I think about 80% of the eligible population has been vaccinated, they are now slowly easing restrictions. I mean, the big concern is is the issue of contagion. Um, you know, whether in fact, regardless of being vaccinated, are you still, you might not actually have these symptoms, but you could still be capable of passing on or, you know, transmitting the virus. So... Really, vaccination does seem to be key in getting to the end of this crisis. Vaccination is a key in the countries that have not attempted to control the virus from the start. Yes. Do you think that the French will be able to experience, for instance, their much-loved summer holiday this year? I doubt it very much. That, that's a very grim prediction. In that case, what needs to be done between now and the next few months? What the head of the WHO stated from the start, test, test and test, which has not been done in France. Catherine Hill, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you for your time. Thank you.